Oh, oh, oh. Good evening, world. Good evening. It is a little spooky tonight, isn't it? Seems like the connection is strong and YouTube is not having problems, so we shouldn't run into the issue we had the last time. YouTube, or as I like to call it, YouTube. Welcome, everybody. Hi, everybody. Before we get started, let's say hello to everybody. Dan, the breaking newsman. Hi. Sarah Lee, Ken. Alice. Alice. Tim Fields, Mary B. Autumn RC1. How you doing? <laughs> Stoogies! Well, came. See a lot of familiar names. And Hellbound faces. Grinning. I feel like you're relatively new. No, I think we've seen them before. Possibly. Similar to me. Maybe it's because we haven't really done okay, a really Grim quick. Up All Night in Deborah, a while. Ken, Joseph, Louis, Mr. W, Douglas, Aaron, Goober, Sarah, Dave, Eric, Jake, Alex. Okay. <sighs> That's hard to do. That looks. <laughs> Hi, guys. It is Sunday night, right? It is Sunday. It is Sunday. Welcome, everybody. To another episode of Grim uh, all, all night. night. Basically, if you're old enough to remember USA Up All Night, hosted by R Rhonda Shear or Gilbert Godfrey, we are. This is kind of like modeled after that. Sarah Davies, thank you, darling. We I play thought... movies, and then we talk to you during the movie. It's a watch party, really, at your own pace. A collective watch party. We're gonna go I through like say, yeah. the um. Uh, the rules and how this works to everybody who's new, but uh, we're gonna give some time for everybody to just kind of like roll in. I know that we 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 announced that we're gonna do this pretty late. Sorry about that. Usually we give a bit more notice. We do, yeah. but but we are getting ready to hit the road Tuesday morning. We fly to the East Coast. We'll be gone for about another month and a half. So be prepared. Hi, Billy. <laughs> Lisa. You welcome. Hola, Mexico. Te amo. Mwah. And that's all I know in Spanish. So tonight we are watching the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Not the remake. Not part two. Not part three. Not part four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or the new there's Netflix not that one. Many, is there? No, there's not that no. many. We're watching the original hey, Echo, thank you, sweetie. Taste test. Test for Echo 2112. Thank you, tip 666. It's old school whenever we see people doing things like that. No. We're watching the original 1974 Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Tim Happy C. Happy Halloween, Halloween, dear. I think we just picked up Dracula. Awesome. No, ha, ha, ha. I am not a natural redhead, matter of fact. Someone said I'm a natural redhead. I'm not. Now... Oh, thank you. Some of you who have been following the channel probably have found yourself wondering, wait a second. Last October, the Grim Life Collective said that they were going to be doing a very in-depth video on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It never happened. And here's why. We always plan for things. We put things in motion. And we are the type of people, when we say we're going to do something, we're going to do something. The problem that we run into is other people's schedules. <laughs> <laughs> No offense yeah. to everybody else in the world, but my gosh, we can't just sit around and wait for things to happen. So we got to keep moving. So it got pushed back. It is coming. Yeah. I promise yeah. you this. It is coming. This is Michael. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Michael. I never really say my name. He says Michael. my name a lot. Tiki Gold. I love it. Oh, thank you. A lot That's of people so call us the Grimms or Mr. Grimm when we yeah. see him in person. Which is all right. It's funny. Like we'll be walking through Disney or some place like our Walmart, and somebody will be like Grim Life from across the room, and then and they our come heads running. Been around. We're like, what? Yeah. I've been outed. They found me. We actually ran into some people this. Uh, well, it's still the weekend, but a couple of days ago, who were here Thank you, Rob. from Ohio. My hair is so fluffy tonight. Was it Ohio fluffy. or Utah? Salt Lake City. Utah. I don't see him snap. Somebody said, hey, Deborah, Deborah Ramos said, can you do the out of the snap? Of course. Why not? Da -da 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 -da. All right. I wasn't sure I could snap. I had to test it. So Hi. real quick, before we get well into this, um, tonight's watch party. Who here? Is this your very first Grim Up All Night watch party? Uh, yes or no? Write it. You, you, you've done this before. Let us hear it. Sound off inside the chat room right now. Who here is a Grim Up All Night virgin? Has never done never, a Grim ever, Up All Night ever, before. Ever, ever. 
Never, ever, ever. First and foremost, welcome to all of you guys, and welcome back to everybody who's been a part of this. That's so many. Ooh, one oh, geez, Louise. Happened so quick. Research. Sorry. Thank you all for the epic content on all your hard work that show us the locations. Oh, you're so welcome, and thank welcome. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow, that went fast. So here's how the Grim. That's why we do slow mode. Here's how the Grim <laughs> Boy Night Watch Party works. Very simple. A little different than most people. Which is weird because most people, whenever they do a watch party across social media, it's always on Twitter and it's like, hey, follow our Twitter account while we watch a movie. They don't provide the movie. You have to do that. You have to buy the movie. Our movies, our watch parties you, are always free. Thank you, Chaos. First time here. Welcome, Chaos 17. The link to tonight's movie. Is pinned to the top of the chat as well as in the description of this video that you're watching right now. In the chat at the top, you might have to scroll sometimes, like I do right now. But it's like tonight's scroll, free movie link. Yeah, it's highlighted in like deep blue, mm -hmm. but it is there. Click it, get it ready, cue it up. Don't watch it just yet. Stop what Thank you're doing. You don't press play. Just wait. Thank, Thank you. you, Ken, and welcome. At it is eight oh six. Pacific Standard Time right now at 8.30, which is about 24 minutes. We're going to do a little countdown. And we're all going to watch it together. Now, the reason why we do this, how this works, you need two devices. One, if you just want to talk to us and hang out with us, you can do that. Screw the movie. It's a great movie. You probably want to have it playing in the background. Why not? You need, in order to for tonight's watch party to work perfectly, you need two devices, a phone, a TV, two TVs, two phones, two iPads, whatever, one to watch us talk and one to watch the movie at your own pace. Oh, thank Paul, you, Paul. Hi, thank you, Paul. Uh, did I forget anything? You don't have to hang out with us. You don't have to watch the movie. If you've never seen Texas Chainsaw Massacre and you just want to watch that, go ahead. Mm -hmm. We're going to be here afterwards. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. So, again, the watch party happens, but it's at your hey, own Dan. pace. Dan, the breaking news man. Been here, done this several weeks. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Michael. Hello, hey, Dan. Hello. We love you guys. We love every single one of you. You guys are like family. And I'm so sorry that we don't do this more oh, often. You, Leon. We've been pretty, pretty freaking busy. We've often said, oh, first off. Does anybody have any questions? 549 people in here. Anybody have any questions on how the watch party works tonight? Oh, yeah. It is on Tubi. Chances are if you're a fan of horror, you probably own the movie. Feel free to put it in. If you are in some sort of weird part of the world, and it did not work then uh, you might not be able to watch it. I'm sorry. <clears throat> but you can always run it if you want. <clears throat> we try Hello, to prevent I it for free. <clears throat> That's one of my mother countries. Ireland or you do Norway. it on two tabs. That's right, Dave. And you just kind of like bounce between the two. Wow, wow, wow. You know, the vibe 2.0 asks, when does the Forest Hills come out? The world premiere is March 11th in Atlantic Highlands, New Jersey. Kevin yeah. Smith's um, movie theater. We are going to be there. Yeah, you can um, watch Link anytime you want. You don't have yeah. to watch it now if you just want to hang out. Yeah. So I don't know when it's going to release all over the place, but I know it's going to be premiering oh, there with nice. a whole bunch of media. We will be there uh, as well as oh, the thanks. actors. That's very nice. Okay. I <laughs> two tap crew. <laughs> I like that. We have often said that whenever you start seeing a lull in videos throughout the week, we try to do a video every other day. Try. That's our plan. Yeah. But a lot of times our videos become like these epic proportions, like, we're, we're getting ready to put a video out now, but it's, we, we, it's two days of filming. Filming today, filming tomorrow, and then it'll probably be up on Tuesday morning. It's a big video. It's a filming location video. It's something I've been wanting to do for quite some time. But we, we've often said that if you start to see a lack of videos during the week, that means we're planning something big. Yeah. The big thing is March 7th, uh, which is Tuesday, we are flying to the East Coast. We're going to be at New Jersey Horror Con. We're going to be uh, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, New Hampshire, uh, Massachusetts, upstate New York. And then we're driving all the way back. My little north. I sounded like grew from like Despicable Me. We're driving yeah. all the yeah, yeah all the way back um, and filming along the way. So there's Hello. a whole bunch of stuff coming. Hello, everybody. Hello. Um. 
I have to say, I feel so like sub- I feel subconscious, like he has naturally curly I hair, and he's not long out of a shower. Look at and this. He cannot stand that his hair is like fluffy, and he doesn't understand. You know how much other people kill to have the what? body of hair that you have. This is bull crap. Look this how is... limp my hair is. How Look flat how... and plastered my head. You have all this body, and Ugh. people like put products in their hair to get what you have. But that's just how it is. Yeah, that's just how it goes. My hair. Perm it up, Michael. That's right. <laughs> It, I mean, it's it's cool because I've never had curly hair, and his doesn't naturally. Like these little curls right here, I love this, but he hates it. I hate so it. So he straightens his hair. See, yeah, people want your hair. <laughs> He's like, oh my god, I'm so fluffy. I look like I'm wearing a football oh, helmet. Yeah, right. Like fluffy, fluffy duffy. Anywho, screw all that stuff. His Thank eyelashes, you. right? Yeah, my they're eyelashes stupidly long. Nope. Who's the orange skinny guy? Oh. <laughs> oh. That's that's uh that's Dan the Breaking Newsman. We have a picture of Dan the Breaking Newsman up in our uh, in our office here. That's him right there. I'm just kidding, Dan. You're not orange. Yeah, everyone's saying that they would kill for just a head of hair. So <laughs> be happy with it. Yeah. I'm sorry. I just realized I forgot my beverage. I'll be right back. Uh oh. Uh okay. As for news, we don't really have much. We are planning a bunch of crazy stuff over on the East Coast. Um, again, the world moves a lot. Sm- I feel like the world moves a lot slower than we do. We're always planning. We're planning into 2024 already. We have a lot of announcements to come, but everybody in the world keeps dragging feet and in, 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 in making announcements so we can make an announcement. So I'm sorry about that. Now. I, there's something I hate talking about. I absolutely hate we talking love about you it. Too. Let's gather around. Everybody gather around. Get your grandmother. Get your mother. Everybody. All right. You may notice in all of our videos on YouTube, we never say things like, and these are horrifying, terrible, terrifying words. They're scary. You ready for it? Hit the, hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more videos, hit the no, bell. We don't we don't do that. We hate no. that. Whenever a YouTube channel is all of a sudden is like, hey, if you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. We're just happy you're here. Uh, we usually turn all that crap off. Yeah. So we don't say it on our channel because we just make the videos mainly for us, but also for you guys. So yeah. thank you for following. Oh, running, with running with the devil. The devil. Running with the devil. Yeah. Give us a thumbs up. Share. Um, I hate saying things like that, so I don't. We get asked all the time, hey, Grim, because they don't know my name. My name is Michael. This is Jessica. Hi, or as other everybody knows, Baby Ghoul. A lot, of people, Baby Ghoul. a lot of people ask us, how can they help the channel? This is a Baby Ghoul with a Baby Pepper. You like that? Yes. <laughs> Um, in the description of every single one of our videos, you will find links, official links for us. If it's not in the description of the YouTube channel, they are not us. <laughs> Grimity Grim Grim, that's right. Justin Scar, he's so cute. Yeah, right? Every time we see Justin, he's like, he always says that. He can't not sing it. Every time we see him, he'll just come right around the corner and he's singing. Like, I'm like, dude, you should just record a song for us and it should be that. Like, that, that's our new intro. Now, Get it done. What I mean by official links, I mean this. Uh, we have a website, GrimLifeCollective.com. It's our store. Right now, it has been down for in the past couple months because we've been traveling a lot. No, I am sorry. so sorry. The only way to get official merchandise from us is in person right now. Um, Lip oil. Sorry about that. Uh, we do have new designs coming. We are retiring two designs, meaning once the store opens back up, the orange t-shirts and the green t-shirts. Once those sizes are gone, we are not ordering them anymore. We have new designs being drawn up and uh, some pretty amazing artists. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, if all of our videos are always free, they're always free, 100%. Yeah. It's not going to cost you anything. There's yeah. no secret membership that gets you more videos or whatever. There's uh-huh. nothing like that. If you want to help out the Grim Life Collective in any way, shape, or form. There are ways to do that. Mm-hmm. Some people are doing super chat. Thank you. Seriously, from the bottom of our hearts, from our family to yours, thank you. No, baby. Sorry. 
If you want, you can order a personalized video message. We will send it to you. We will conduct your family's funeral. That's awesome, Michelle. We will wish your neighbor or enemy a happy birthday. I do love medicine. If you want us to tell off your doctor, we will. But I'm the one that can shoot. <laughs> Um, but all of that is in the description of the video. All of the videos. Yeah. Um, donate uh, PayPal, Patreon, anything like that if you want to help out. I will totally conduct Check your it funeral. <laughs> I would. Yeah. I will also, if you're local I, and you pay me, I'll uh, show up to your funeral dressed in black and something spooky and stand in the back and look like you died in mysterious circumstances. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> it's all my right. favorite thing. It's my favorite thing in the world. I'll be wearing like some some gown, right, or something that looks like fancy. Awesome black screen stories. And uh, I'll just turn to him and go. So when can I tell people that you died in mysterious circumstances? I want somebody to like to to order a pay, a, a cameo and ask us to, to tell somebody off. No, I don't know if I but, could. But we wouldn't be mean about it. We'd be like, listen here, Dan, the breaking news man. We got a bone to pick with you. Your shoe size is too small. Suck it, <laughs> Trebek. No, I don't know if I can be mean to somebody. Doing good, so Dustin. Please don't ask us to do that. Yeah, we wouldn't. We, we, we'd be playfully mean. Yeah. I'd just be like, your butt is small, and I'm not going to buy you tacos. Uh, Lynn says, got to get a cameo so you, can go, so you can go off on my ex. I'm telling you, we're going to make it comical. If you order something where we have to go off on somebody, we're going to make it comical. Just saying. Just saying. Um, I lost my train of thought. I just tell them no tacos for you. No tacos you, you, for you. You've been a bad person. You don't get any tacos. How much to officiate a wedding? I don't know. Nobody's do ever you, asked don't us. Don't you have to be registered wedding. to officiate a wedding? I am registered. I, I, not married? I, I can I can do weddings. We have we have been to the Hollywood show before. It's really cool, but small, so it's like really really packed. Yeah. But man, I got some great stuff the last one. Not the last one they held, but the one we went to. Got some really great things. Oh, you're welcome, Alice. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, uh, the reason why I said official links. If you have ever left a comment on any one of our YouTube videos, any one of them, there's, there's a very good chance that you <laughs> might have got a message saying, Hey, text us on Telegram or some crap like oh, that. Oh, God. Or um, let me read your poem. For some reason, if it's on Instagram, everybody and one. everyone has has been getting this spam. We have talked to our, represent our representative at YouTube about yeah. it. It's not They're trying to now. figure it out. It's everywhere. Um, if we put out a notice saying, hey, this is a fake account, there's always going to be somebody who doesn't see that. Yeah. So we are trusting you. To don't take this the wrong way. Don't be stupid. If it's not an official account, don't respond to it. No. And when I say official account, well, in our YouTube's atmosphere, yeah. whatever's in that description is us. Our YouTube channel, Grim Life Collective, is verified. So why on earth would we start another account to have you contact us? Thank it you, makes Liz. no sense. In so, South Jersey, where are you guys going to be in Jersey? I think Northern Jersey. New Jersey, um, okay. Horror Cut Ruby in Atlantic City, Atlantic Highlands, Asbury Park, Matawan, uh, Tom's River, a couple other crazy We're places. We're going to be at the New Jersey Horror Convention, so you can come and meet us there. I think that's the only place in Jersey we're going to be holding a quote um, where you can meet us in person. Yeah. We, we typically only do appearances. In appearances at conventions because it just gives us a place where we can yep. actually go and be safe from like weather and things like that you know christina um, make it if you're going to be in new jersey go to, to new jersey horror con i know it we got it from target last halloween season he's just a a, a plastic skeleton from target yeah the store <sighs> won't reopen for a while i'm so sorry because on tuesday we fly out from LA to the East Coast and we're going to be gone for a month and a half. I'm not going to tell you exactly what we're doing. I like to keep it a secret, a surprise. Secret, secret. I just burped. Okay. A surprise. <laughs> um, Maybe but, you've seen it with V. We hope to. But I will tell you this. No, we're flying in and then driving back. Thank you, Joey. 
Um, so here, thank you, Joey. So get ready because we're going to be I'm on the sure road. You could see this so people didn't think that like <laughs> it was me. <laughs> we're going to be on the road for about a month and a half. And I think we're only doing one, maybe two filming locations. The rest of it is all either true crime or star stories and horror or move or events in life that have inspired horror movies as well as famous great. We are going to be visiting and filming as long all of this stuff can change. Things happen on the road. Oops. We are going to be, we have all, uh, how do I say this? We have complete access to an old asylum that we're going to be taking the cameras in and documenting this asylum that is very popular in the United States. And uh, they have assured us that they're going to take us into some locations, some buildings, some parts of the asylum that nobody has ever seen before. So get ready for some spooky stuff. This place is haunted as hell. And even though we're not going to be doing any ghost hunting, we are going to be talking about the ghosts about what you can experience at this place. Yeah. So be freaking I get a night, ready. Uh, what do you call it? Night vision? Night vision. It'd be cool if we had night vision. Like, I want to yeah. get like a night vision, a camera that has night vision on it because I don't have anything like that. Um, the asylum that we're going to, I'm not going to tell you the name, oh, but point, John Luke. they have never let anybody do what we're going to do. They have never let anybody do it. It's a it, it's yes. a one and done. It's 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 going to happen. And anybody who comes in afterwards, most of this asylum is going to get torn down. So once we go in, we're documenting everything. We're walking through, showing all the decay, the history of this place, talking about what happened, the lives that it that. Mm -hmm. We like Be to tell ready. stories. You know us. We like to tell the stories of the the people who have lived and died at these places, and. We, uh, yeah. Maybe some of the we'll probably talk about the hauntings. I don't. We're not going to do haunting, uh, paranormal research haunts ourselves. No. But a lot of people do like to go there to do that. So we will talk about what you can expect should you do it yourself. We are going to be doing three videos on three notorious serial killers. Uh two of them are pretty pretty nasty. This is a while into the future. That um, nobody really talks about. I don't even think we, we're going to be at that location for at least a couple of weeks. What's that? At the one you're talking about. People are no, it's next the, week. Oh, is it next week? It's next week. Yeah, the video is ah. coming in like a week. You guys know I don't ever yeah. know where I'm so at. She never knows. I, I, I always keep her like in the dark. She's a, it's like, all a secret I know to things, her. but I don't know things. But like he tells me, that's just how my memory is. My, my memory likes to keep me like surprised and on my toes. Brian yeah. Doran, miss my grim friends. Aww. Love the Ramones dog videos. Oh when you get... New t-shirts, 5X or 6X. Please keep up the great work and hope to meet up again. We will see you again sometime in the, in the future, Brian. Um, so far, our suppliers, we've been able to go up to a 5X. We have 5X in all of our shirts thus far. So if it goes up to a 6, I will absolutely get a 6. So far, we've only been able to go up to a 5. But uh, I will go up to the, <clears throat> the largest that they, they carry if I'm able. Uh, as for... Uh, uh, kind of spilling some news here because we don't really have much news because it's all been in preparation for this coming up. We've done Midsummer Scream before, ages ago though, not a recent one. If you might have caught us talking about it on a Grim Up All Night in the past, but Thank you, Matthew. We have I'm access to one of our holy grail of places that um, of filming locations that we want to visit. It is an abandoned film set that was built in the middle of the woods. Yeah, no, look. Thank you, Matt. Look, here, I'll even show you how pretty it is. Look at my wedding ring. Isn't that lovely? It's in the shape of a coffin. You're welcome, Raven. Thank you for watching. Uh, His is just a basic silver band. Yeah. And I try to steal it all the time because it's a running joke. Uh, like, like I said, it's a, it's an abandoned film set that was built and left rotting in the middle of the woods. 
Uh, we've, we've been wanting to visit this place and document it for as far back as I can remember. We finally got permission and we're just setting everything up. We are going to be going to England this Halloween. And which means we're not going to be here in the United States for Halloween proper. So Yay. on this trip, we are planning a very, very, very big Halloween episode. So be ready. And this video is probably not going to come out for My the next couple months. My hair is not that faded. No, we don't. What else? Besides like famous graves and stuff like that. Oh, gosh. That, that's that's pretty much there, about it. There's a lot. I mean, a two-hour Grim special. Tim C. You know what? Don't oh, what like a to the hearse car. Oh, it's been long gone, hot nerd. Yeah, since we first moved to Orlando, it got totaled the first week we moved from Savannah. Yeah, broke our hearts. That was a beautiful car. It purred too. It was a gorgeous car. Yeah. <laughs> it's bright. Yeah, I actually just dyed it like. Uh, not that long ago, but on camera it probably looks more yellow. Oh, than, geez, than Shannon green. Fizz. Hey, Shannon. Hi, sweetheart. Shannon Fitz. Happy Halloween. Same Shannon as always. Sent the plaque. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Dear. Maybe some Instagram lives along the way on this trip. Can't wait to see more travel ideas. True crime in Memphis, Tennessee. You Safe never travels. know when we're going to end up. You well, never know. Here's the thing: like we've been debating about. What do you guys think? 675 people in here. One word. Instagram. I will confirm. Instagram or YouTube. Instagram or YouTube. Do you want to see more lives? Like in the moment lives at different locations saying, hey, guys, I just want to check in. Do you want to see that on Instagram stories or Instagram lives? Or do you want to see it like on YouTube? What is easier for you guys? YouTube. Look, they all say YouTube. Yeah. YouTube well, seems to be the place. Keep wow, it all in so one fast. spot. Um, we YouTube. Uh, it's a hundred percent YouTube. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, make it stop. This is why we put on slow mode. <laughs> Jesus Christ! We love you guys. You guys are so amazing. We love coming here and hanging out with you. Yeah, we we, we love our Wee! YouTube family. You guys are phenomenal. <laughs> that was kind of like. Listen, I can't confirm, but maybe nobody said Instagram, did they? No, it was all YouTube. <laughs> yeah. To be fun, I hate um social media. I, I absolutely hate it. If you notice, like on our social media, most of the time it's me posting like um, new we videos. That's often. about it. Yeah. And I try really hard, but I get so overwhelmed because I'm always, we're, we're either driving, editing, filming, scoring, researching, and it's just hard for us to sit down. So I, I always feel bad if, if you reach out to us mm -hmm. and we don't get back to you. It's, we, we probably saw it. Or if we didn't, I'm sorry. It's just really hard. We, it's really hard. Hope Sonic but it's beer, all a I lot am of not love. single. We just said that we're married. Yeah. I think you've been around for a while. You should know that we're married. Thank you, Sarah. Please be respectful. Eric Palmer. Hey, Grim fam. Been a while. Sorry for slacking. Keep up the killer. You're not what? slacking. Work. Happy Halloween. You're not slacking. You You're here, your Eric. You're 100% here. Your Richard says, love you guys. Y'all are excited. for. We are excited for Scream 6. Actually. Yes. Thank you, 100 percent excited. Marie says, thank you for doing what you do. Thank you, Marie. Thank, thank you, 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 Marie. Sweetheart. We really appreciate that. So, okay. Oh, it is 829. Mm -hmm. um, movie's about ready to start. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, in right, case you're like, wondering. Like, dang. Come on. So, I want you to know how excited I am for Scream 6. You ready? Okay. I have entertained the idea. Frankenberry. I have entertained the idea of stealing thieving stealing that's the word stealing breaking the law and stealing somebody else's property for scream six i'm not going to do it because i'm not going to be that kind of person but here in los angeles all of the bus stop posters that you see there's some really awesome Scream 6 bus stop posters. They look so good. The one with, with a, a ghost face and the one, one with Jenna Ortega, no, I want more than not. anything. And I'm like, I should buy a security key and go in there in the dead of night dressed in Thank the shroud of blackness and I'm steal sorry, it. But I'm not Adreli, going to. But it's Adreli. Thank you, dear. Thank you so much. Thank you, Adreli. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. 
Oh, Jenna Ortega is amazing. Program. Absolutely love her. All right. Um, let me get the movie ready. Sorry. I know you guys. If uh, uh, 689. Movie starting. Movie starting. I like saying that. Bun buns. Michelle's there. Bun buns. Bun bun. I, man, I, okay. Well, here's the thing. I call my bestie bun bun. I don't know why, but she's my bun bun. In order to get the bus stop posters, you need like a special key or whatever it little, is. Uh, and my luck, like I'll, I'll get there and it's not the one that I want. And then all of a sudden I'm just like. Did you watch for the first time, Alice? The Labyrinth? All right. Does I anybody, does Allegra DJ. Alegria. Alegria. Hi, Michael Jessica. Sending love to you guys. Keep Thank up you, the great videos. Thank you, Alegria. Thank you so much. Thank you, darling. All right. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Does everybody know where the link is? Pin to the top of the chat or in the description below. Click it. Open it up on a different screen or a different device. Hang out with us. Watch the movie. Ready? We're going to do a countdown. Thank you. You don't have to watch the movie if you don't want to. Three, two, one. Oh, one day I think you're going to do it. One, one day, day I'm going to flip flip everybody off. I don't know if I've seen the latest Chainsaw. Is that the one where they, um, at the very end of the movie, they the girl drives away in a smart car? It's, it's like a it's Tesla, like, a like auto driving. Yeah, the yeah. auto drive. It's so silly. So it silly. had some really good kill scenes, though. Like, the bus part especially was kind of... <laughs> was really hilarious. Everyone got their phones out and they're like, you're canceled. And he was like, he had no idea what that meant. No idea at all. None. <laughs> and he, so he just killed everybody. He was like, whatever. Thanks. But now... I we are watching the 1974. We were talking about the, the remake, VM, VLKC. Yeah. We've done a Midsummer Night video. Midsummer Scream. Scream. Yeah. We have. Aram. Bed Rosian, Arum. pronounced Aram. Aram. You should come. Thank you for saying that. Beetlejuice, What Lies Beneath. Wolf, thank you for your amazing hand. Thank you so much. Dude, I actually love What Lies Beneath. That was a really good movie. And I love Wolf and Beetlejuice. And yeah, man, we're totally going to come back through again. But sadly, not thank this trip. Thank you so much. But we will be. We will be. I just saw Jason LaPlante, LaPlante, that what? there was a Texas Chainsaw Massacre documentary. And speaking of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Voice, John Larroquette, Larroquette, um, we've been watching Night Court every morning, <laughs> like the original Night Court every night. And uh, it's so much fun. I don't know if we're ever going to make it to Alaska. But oh, we'll you know make what? it to Alaska. I everywhere. I've always I wanted to go, uh, this is going to sound so lame. I've always wanted to go to Alaska and see the whales, like take one of those like oh, whale tours. But it's always like ice to. all the time. And well, then maybe you should dress warm. Though, it's like daylight all the time or it's nighttime all the time. Like, I don't know if I could do it. I think it would really fry my brain. Are you excited for Evil Dead Rise? I am. We both are. Yeah. It's going to be good. It looks really good. I'm stupidly excited. Yeah. I, well, I've seen a lot of shows um, on Alaska and it, it looks freaking gorgeous up there. I did not see there's a remake of Arachnophobia. I saw something about that. That feels wrong. That. That feels wrong. Although what they could do today with that could be really good as long as they left a lot of the CGI out. But then how we are watching it, it right now, James. Ha ha. Oh, um, see, okay. Yeah, the store will be open when we get back from a trip. Mm -hmm. Uh we are putting together our Canadian trip. We are going to Toronto in September. We'll be in town for about a week. And as of right now, there's about three different filming locations and a couple different uh uh famous graves that we're going to be visiting so keep an eye out for that if you are in the toronto area look for something known as the great halloween market the great canadian halloween market we are going to be there i just love the name of it it makes me so happy and we got to talk with one of the people who's putting it together if not the guy who's putting it together is, wait, is he poutining it together Wow. That was really good. Wow. That was really good. Poutine. You should say that. Yeah. You need to hold it. Remember that one because you need to you need to use that one when we get to, when we get to Canada. But like he was practical effects, Deborah. He wasn't as Canadian as some of the Canadians I've talked to, but I could hear the Canadian through the phone and I just wanted Thanks, to hug Clayton. him through the phone so bad. 
every time I meet a Canadian, we're like besties. Like you can't separate us. Like it's just how we're made. Hi, Brazil. Now I, I, I who pees in a pod. September 9th. What's real? September 9th, the great Canadian Halloween market. Yeah. Come see us. We will be there. September 9th in Toronto. I think it's the only place that we're gonna be where you can meet us in Toronto on this trip. Yes. Actually, you ready for this? Mm -hmm. Speaking of Ontario. It's not technically a beer, I guess. It's like a oh, this is a mixed drink cocktail. Is it a cocktail? I mean, I don't. I was in Ontario today, Ontario, California, filming something. Well, look at that. I just threw it all off. Look, I got everybody drunk. <laughs> Everybody's drunk. You can also go to Tubi.com if ben you're on Edwards, a different thank device. You. you don't have to download the app to watch as far as I know. You can just go to the website what is as well. Ooh, it's like paranormals. Dun 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 dun. Wait, am I? Is, is it? Can it's because the uh, the television went really dark. Ah. And oh wait, ah. Uh, there, there we go. Are. Oh, it's yeah. back. <laughs> Austin says, "Wow, didn't even take a drink yet, and my vision's already blurry." That's what we do. <laughs> Thank you, Beer That's what we do. It's part of Thank the experience. You. Seen it with V. You guys are great. We met her recently. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Well, um, I want to ask what you were filming in LA. So uh, there, there's a certain unspoken rule about people in the world of YouTube, right? Uh, you will work really hard to put a video out. And then the day before you put it out, somebody else puts it out. Or if you let somebody know, hey, you're going to go do this. Well, guess what? Then somehow the world goes there and does it first. So you never say what you want to do. And you kind of want to make it speak, you know, secret. I don't know if Scott on tape's going to be in Toronto while we are, but if so, I'm sure we'll run into him. Yeah. Everybody seems to be traveling anymore, which is perfectly fine. Will you guys do a Night Stalker video? Yes. We are planning something big. I'm just waiting to hear back. I grew up like that soft off. It's a great time. You want to know, do you guys want to know why we haven't done a Night Stalker video yet? Because we're planning something with uh, uh, LAPD. That's why. Instead of like, I hate just walking into a place and just being like, hey, let's do this. Let's do this. And then um, it's like everybody else's video. We always try to go above and beyond. Do something like, like today. Filming in Ontario, California. We did something today that we've never done before to make sure we got the shot. And it was really cool. Um, I want to do the Night Stalker video, but I want other people involved. Yes. We're firm believers that, yes, we are telling the story of these Ooh, places yes, and these watching. people. But sometimes it's not our story to tell. And Cherry Hill, is that New Jersey? Yes. Uh, what day is that convention? Monster Mania? Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think we're going to be going to it, thank though. Thank you. The reason why you can't take Franklin anywhere is because he's always rolling with the punches. Oh, God. Yeah. We've done videos with Scott on tape before. The magicians never tell the secret. I like it, Amanda. Well, no, I mean, man, I never know what it's not so be. much like I'm just trying to be secret. I just like I like surprising people. Know. You know what I mean? Like most of the time, whenever we do videos and we go to some of these places, some of the magic that happens oh, off camera you, is Otto. really sweet, like really cool. And I like to kind of make it a little mysterious as to what the next video is going to be. So whenever you watch it, you're like, oh, my God, that's really cool. I did not expect that. And, but if you knew what everything was coming before it was Hello, happening, Thailand. it's a different story. Hi. Hello, All Mystic from Traveler. Bangkok. I love food from there. Thank you, Joshua. We have a restaurant up the street that is, ugh, I, I live on curry sometimes. Rice and noodles. I live on rice and noodles and curry. Is it snowing where you are in Stockton? I love Tim Curry. I do love Tim Curry. Wah, wah. You know what? He should have like Aww, all, you're these, welcome, Alice. all these Thank people you. are like making like 
their own barbecue sauce, their own wine. Tim Curry should have a curry brand, like Tim I Curry. I like yellow curry. But would you would you eat like Tim curry. curry? Would I eat Tim Curry? Like no, like curry, like something like if Tim Curry had a curry brand. I feel like that was a loaded question. I'm not <laughs> sure how to answer this right now. Holler at Legend says, Grim Life Collective, love your YouTube channel. What was it like meeting Dennis O'Hare, such a great guy? He was really cool. I was actually really nervous about talking to him. And he's one of those actors that, how do I say this? I can't do hot sauce of any kind. No, I, I couldn't do it. He was one of those actors that whenever you meet him, he's all about like, Is he the guy from uh, American, Horror, American Story. Horror Story? Yeah, he's um, he's soft spoken, but like really cool. There's people who, okay, when you meet different people who are actors who are in the horror industry or at different shows, <laughs> there's a couple different people that you encounter. The first one who they don't care; they were in it for the money. That's all. They, they can give two craps, whatever. Yeah, they just they just wanted the paycheck. Video. We've met people like that. There are people that you meet that are, I can't believe this is happening to me. This is the coolest freaking thing. I can't believe people love my movie. Thank you, dear. Dennis O'Hare is one of those people, but he's, he's very proper about his acting and how, I I don't know what the word is. Like when you talk to him, you, 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 you get this sense that he has a lot of respect for the craft. And well, it's not so much Shannon. about having fun. It is. We should be. But he's, does it make sense? We I should be still going to Houston for Days of the Dead. I don't think they've announced this yet, though. But as far as we know, we should be. Dennis O'Hare was cool. Um, when we met him, he was just kind of like, like really laid back, but like really soft spoken. And uh, I don't remember what he was wearing, but it was very um, not what I expected because in my head, he's always wearing like a three piece suit, (laughs) right? And uh, I told him that I especially love the characters that he gets to do where he is very dapper because it suits him extremely well. And, And he was very thankful for the compliment. He was very sweet about it. I have not met Nathan Lane. No. Yeah, he's kind of like, he's a theater guy. I can like, see that. He's very much a theater guy. He, yeah. he's, he's very about the, the he's art like, of acting. I'm here. What am I supposed to do? Like, what what do you need from me? And That's then not he just what kind of I... like meet people. And he's like, okay, I can do that. He just felt very relaxed. Like, he was just there to enjoy himself and enjoy the people. That's kind of how I felt. But we didn't have very many words with him. We yeah, we was, did. We had a whole interview with him. Well, we hung out with like, him beforehand and we talked to him well, about what it. what I mean is like, we didn't hang out with him all day. You know, so it's like, I can't get the extreme sense of a person from from a single interview for me. Los Angeles has been good to us and we love it here. I can't imagine living anywhere else. J, yeah, J Ram. I mean, this is uh, this is the place that we've been wanting to live, wanting to visit, and we are we are all about the Hollywood history. So it kind of was like a perfect storm, if you will. If it was up to me, Eric and everybody else, hear me now, hear me loud. If it was up to me, I would get rid of social media altogether not because i don't like enjoying i I love interacting with people it's just it's so much like it's it it can get to the point where because you have to do all of them but not everybody does anymore uh, you get to the point where it's like man i i I want to go on social media but then by the time you like there's just no time to get on social media and i try to make time and i get on there and i interact with people and i just i feel like i miss more than i actually see and it, it, it kind of saddens yeah, me. Yeah, it's like a second job. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like, not like in a bad way. I just, I wish that I could interact more. Have a good night, Dan, the breaking news man. Sleep well. Toodaloo. Shout Scooby out Doo. Back to DFW. Thank you. What's that? DFW. Is that the. Uh... That's, that's a Texas thing. 
Oh. Dallas, Fort Worth. Oh. I'm thinking of VFW. No. I haven't spent a lot of time in Texas, if you can't tell. I don't know if you can do Cecil. We haven't looked into it since it was taken over. It was taken over. New management and new security and all that fun stuff. Oh, that's so sweet, Stephanie. Glad we could hang out together and way that we're able, you know. Have a good night, Tony. I know Sunday nights are a little hard for people, especially hey, whenever Tony. you are in the part of the world and everybody has to work on Monday morning, which is all right. It's all right. Thank you for saying hello. What do I do with my free time when I'm not with Michael in videos? Um, I guess it does kind of seem like it might be free time, but no, I'm home either in the background doing things um, or I'm helping us prepare for one of our next adventures and taking care of things while uh, he goes and has some exercise since my health usually isn't up to it. And I take care of the house and all the matter of things that happen in the background that you don't think of that I try to prepare for. Well, like that and also the video that I went and filmed today, part like today and tomorrow is one video. Yeah. Um, more than likely, you wouldn't have been able to go where I was going. No. So there was a lot yeah. of... Um, when you watch the video, it might not seem like it was chaos to get to, but her mm. getting to where I was to film, she wouldn't have been able to make it. No. So she'll often, she's not a sidekick. She's actually part of Grim Life. Quite. A lot of people are like, oh, you're a sidekick or this and that. Like we are Grim Life. I'm the wife. And um, Grim Life wife. Any chance that I can to get her to be in the videos, I, I make happen. But a lot of times she can't for health reasons. Yeah. Was Leatherface and his family the ones who were supposed to to responsible for the grave robbings? Yes. I would say so, James. Yes. Yeah. That was always my interpretation anyway. Well, hello, witchy wife, Sharla. Have you had much time to play on the PS5? I'm Grim Wife Collective. <laughs> I like that. Ben, we do... Um, we try to sneak in time here and there. We tr Okay, so... We'll have plans. One of the reasons <laughs> why we don't do videos every single day, one of the reasons, and probably the Hi, biggest Sydney. reason, as much as we are involved in the world of YouTube, as much as YouTube is our life, we do not want YouTube to overtake our life. So we, we try to work for a day or work for a day or two or three and then have a day of rest where we don't film anything. I might do some research, but we... we have a day on, have a day off. Have, have a day on, have a day off. That's for our own well-being. Hey, George, please make more film location videos. You got it, dude. It's coming right up real soon, too. With that being said, when it comes to playing games on the PlayStation or on the Nintendo <laughs> Switch, we try to devote at least one hour a day to just kind of sit down and, and play and just kind of relax. Or just watch a movie together. Yeah. We we tend to fit in a lot of like personal time with meals. I think a lot of families do that who have busy schedules that don't match up with each other. You know, we're we're a family. We're no different just because it's the two of us. Um we we sometimes have to plan things out. We're just we're just like you guys. We're just so, normal peoples. And we do YouTube 100%. Like it's it's full time. Everything we do is YouTube. And if I go three, four days or five days without doing a video, I start feeling really bad. Like I want you guys to. His anxiety. To, to, I have high anxiety when wild. it comes to that. Yeah. So I, my goal is to have a video out every other day, but to make sure that we are a healthy functioning couple in life and paying bills and taking care of stuff, we take time off. So we try to like balance it. That's why you don't see videos every day. Yeah. Bam. I just love the sound that makes. It's fake vomiting and also- Turn it up world. Hey. Dude, they've been here. You just noticed? I'm so sorry. Wow. Well, I'm glad that you guys are here. Thank you. It's another couple. Turn it up world. Um, they travel a lot. Mostly- they travel more than us. Based in Las Vegas, correct? Yeah. Um, awesome people. We met them a few different times, and I, I wish we saw you guys more. I feel like every time we are in Vegas, you aren't. So sorry. 
I, I didn't see who well, Maybe asked, you're doing um, it on purpose. Because it went really fast. Hi, Chili! I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Hola, amigo! Um, someone asked if we had met um, Munster. Uh, Eddie Jeff, Munster? Jeff Daniel Phillips. Yes. Uh, and we have several times. He's a great guy. He's so tall. So Michael is six foot two. I'm five foot four. He's six foot two. I'm five foot four. And Jeff Daniel Phillips, I want to say, is probably about six three. So he's he's That's giant. Crazy fucking. You see you this? Know? Like what is this? It's called a wave. What is this like? It's Look called it. nature. Look at this. What what is this? I hate this. I hate this. I know you do, but I think it's the cutest thing on this planet. It's not the cutest right? thing on this he's planet. He's such a good dude. Like if you ever get to see him at a convention, <sighs> like he's just he's an all around great guy. Little horns. And he's kind of shy, actually. I Cowlick. don't expect that. He's, uh, he's, very, um, he's very humble. And he's kind of shy. Somebody asked when are... He's like all shucks, you know? Yeah, he, he's an awesome person. Somebody asked when our next filming location video is. Probably Tuesday or Wednesday. We are working on one... We are working on a film location right now. It's a pretty big movie from the 80s, a horror movie from the 80s. It's taken at least two days to film. I should finish it tomorrow morning. You tall Venus, yeah. So, um, be ready. Because it's a good one. Six seven, dude. You I'm know who is six foot seven? Bull from my court. I'm six nine. You are not. No, wait. Was Bull six foot seven or six foot nine? He was extremely tall. I just read this up the other day. I want to say he was six seven because David Larroquette was six foot three, and they needed someone who looked like Thank you, nobody. He towered over David Larroquette. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Alegria. It is not Transylvania. Six five thousand. Three oh nine. Get it? Thank you, Christine. No. I ran into one song. <laughs> one of these days, we promise we will do a house tour when that that day will happen when we're no longer living out of boxes. That boxes. is how much we travel. We have lived here for like two years and we're still living out of boxes in some regards. So. Yes, Tim Petty, the movie has started. <sighs> One of these days, we are, it will happen. Let's see here. I would walk 500 19 miles. minutes and 30 seconds in. You guys know you can't do this to me because I will sing everything. I can't help it. We have met Richard Brake. Richard Brake is an amazing He's guy. He's also super cool. Oh. Also skinny. Hey. Or not skinny, tall. Go get the tall. two new autographs in the other room. Oh, from the Stream Ellie? Yeah. Stream Ellie? Stream Ellie? Stream Ellie? Hello, Bill M. Hello, and thank you, and, and, and toodaloo. We do like Terrifier 2. Terrifier 2 is awesome. We're actually trying to make something crazy, crazy happen. Uh, Keith Donald, we are coming to Whitsby, the home of Dracula. Do you like that? The home of Dracula. I just can't tell you exactly when. Yeah, no, you can leave it on. Thank you for grabbing the uh, those. Oh, a little show and tell. Um, I'm not going to tell you how we got these. We're just going to show you how what they are. <laughs> so the first one being, ta -da, need I say more? How freaking amazing is this? Yeah. If you're a fan of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the TV show. Dracula. Oh, Snapdragon. Especially vampires. <sighs> okay. And Juliet, her and her husband are actually really good friends. So, thank you. And then, Jessica, hold it up there. Oh, I get the show and tell? Yeah. I'm, I'm very excited for this one. I've been, I've, I want to meet her, but we never end up at the same convention. She does a different circuit than the horror convention. We'll eventually meet her. I love her. Yeah. And I got one recently of... Uh... Chase Lunsford. Fans from Baltimore, we Aww. love you. Come back to Bennett's Curse this fall. We I would like absolutely to love to, someday. Chase. So, if all goes according to plan, according to plan, according, according to, to plan... plan. October 13th, 
is uh -huh. whenever we fly to the UK, which means we will be in the Halloween season realm for the end of September in the first week or two of October. What that means is this. There's a very good chance that you could see the Grim Life Collective coming deep into the bowels, the, the, the dark corners of your favorite Halloween horror haunt. We've talked to a few. We are planning something Which pretty one? big. I got, oh, that's my Hello Can't Kitty. Can't tell you what it is. I love Hello Kitty. Do you guys know that? I love pink and I love Hello Kitty. I don't normally wear pink because black looks so good on me. But... Green Reaper, the store is not opening anytime soon. I'm sorry. It's just we're on the road. And if we're on the road, that means we can't be here to fill your order and put it out. So True. what that means is this. Let's say we're gone for two months two months filming and working and creating content somewhere in the world and you put an order in the day that we leave that means two months is going to go by before at the earliest before you get your order i would love to go to india so we gotta wait we gotta i wait. love india it's so beautiful i would love to go there no not to texas <laughs> seeing me hug hello kitty was that the one where i cried so well, Kevin, I, I cried. Cry. We have no plans to be anywhere in Texas. Hey, nobody. The rest of the year. Have you ever I'm visited sorry. any of the Sacramento haunts, like Old Sacramento Underground or the Dorothea Fuentes House? If so, what did you think? I don't think we've been to either, have we? Thank we you, have everybody. actually not been to Sacramento. Um, I do have some things that I want to do up there, especially the Dorothea Fuentes House. Telling her story, she's the one about the the old woman. Who really wasn't that old, but she was kind of old and she was like killing. The one who was killing people yeah, and put them and the, in her backyard. Yeah, in her garden. We just watched that not that long ago. Yeah. It was an episode of uh, something about. It's okay, neighbors. Kevin. 2024, uh, no, uh, we will be back in Texas, but not the rest of this year. On Netflix, there was a show about roommates. Roommates was in the title, but I can't think of uh, <clears throat> what it was called exactly. She was a feature episode on that show. Charles N. says, is Creature Hi, Features a Hi. possibility in 2023? It's funny you say that. We love them. Because we are going to be back up in that area One day this to to May. Too, man. I want to go everywhere. And she doesn't know this yet, but we already have a date set for whenever we're going to be visiting wow, our friends really at Creature Features again. I'm fine. You're just, you're always so hot. So, yes, Creature Features is happening again in 2023. We love them. We do. Yeah. yeah. They're family. They're absolutely family. We have not watched the Chucky show. Because, believe it or not, Fred215, I'm so sorry to say this. I, I know I there's a lot of fans. like the first few episodes. We're not big Child's Play fans. I mean, we are, but we're not like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Worst roommate ever. Yeah, that was it. I can't believe I couldn't sleep that title. What is the one we watched? Uh, there's one on Hulu that we watched the other day. And it got kind of, it was, seemed kind of cool, but then it kind of got boring after a while. Never mind. Oh, where and, it's like the same exact like cookie cutter. They just like slice in. Different yeah, it was. So, okay. There's, there's this world in documentaries. No, Danny, we won't. Where they don't really create their own content. They just rehash other interviews and other dramatic things. That's what it felt like. And it was a little like... I'm starting to get really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. She's like, there are certain rules to groom up all night. One, don't mention Julia Stiles or Anne Hathaway. How freaking dare them. you? Ah, two, don't ask about the relationship because they're married. Thank you. Because it's just respectful, right? I love it. And three, never say, I'll be right back. Uh, I'll be right back. No new tattoos. I, I tried. We're about to leave for my birthday. So my birthday is April 3rd. I'm in Aries. And we're going to be in Salem for my birthday. And I've tried, I, I've been trying to get into this tattoo place for two years now. Still have not been able to, to land an appointment. So I think I'm just going to give up on it. And it really kind of bums me out. But what am I supposed to do? They won't fill me in. I mean, they're like extremely popular tattoo yeah. artists. So like, I mean, they're always booked out for a long time. But uh at, at this point i don't know i just kind of it's a, 
it's it's okay. So when when you spend, uh, it is what it is. Black veil, yeah, that's where I'm trying to get in it. Yeah, she wants a tattoo from Black. Veil. I'm done with tattoos. I don't think I ever want another yeah. tattoo again. I don't have any. I have one. I have a little baby baby one. We did meet Lisa Loring before she passed. In fact, I uh, I was just thinking about this the other day. Let me pull up one of our. Uh, oh, speaking of uh, Jeff Daniel Phillips, Yee. there's Jeff. Grandpa. Grandpa Munster. Grandpa. No, not Grandpa Herman. Right there. But there he is again. One of Jessica's favorite scenes. <laughs> <laughs> from Satanic Panic. He's my ultimate favorite. Oh, I had him write out a long quote. And I actually bought the movie on my phone so I could show him the scene that, like, sent me every time I saw it. And he was like, what are you talking about? Angelica Houston. Because I know that he was not uh, trying to make this. Thank you, Joey. Thank you, Joey. But he wasn't trying to make this like as funny as it was, but the delivery just sent me that he was crying because his daughter got killed and all he want all she wanted to do was kill your daughter, uh -huh. Danica, you know? And um I'm just gonna look. I, I can't even remember the quote, but I bought the movie on my phone right then and there. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna find the quote. You say this and it's the best thing ever. And it's a little bit long if you could only, you know, write Enya. I got him to have a good laugh that day. Because I don't That's think... That's in here somewhere. A lot of... Um, I don't think a lot of actors are aware of those tiny moments that you latch on to in a lot of movies. And those are always my favorites. You know, everyone knows these movies and these actors or actresses for these iconic roles and iconic scenes in movies. But it's often like some B-film or tiny scene from a movie that we tend to latch onto, and those are always my favorites. I don't know where, the least Loring is so, around here somewhere. I feel like I missed it. Um, did her, we ever sign a poster? Oh, here she is. Oh, okay. She was so sweet when we, when we met her. Not the 2000 the movie, but the original we have, Poor House on Haunted Hill. Yeah, the movie got really dark, so like everything in here got really dark. Yeah. We have done Demon Knight filming locations. We have. Yeah. like, I, In fact, Nikki. Nikki Corpse. That's actually a really cool name. Um... I think one of the very first videos that we ever did when we moved to LA one was the uh, the tell, uh, Tales from the Crypt Demon Knight filming location. Because it's one of my favorite movies. I love it. Yeah. There's not a lot that you can see, but there are a few buildings and we found the roads that you see. Oh, San Bernardino. San Bernardino. So that was really cool. And like, okay, truth be told, when it comes to the filming location videos... I, we love visiting the filming location videos because we're fans. And it's really, really cool. But out of all of the videos that we shoot, when it comes to shooting, preparation, and editing, they're the hardest ones to film. The hardest ones. True crime can be kind of easy. You just kind of have to get over like uh, interacting with people who don't want you there, which can be kind of whatever. <laughs> uh, museums are the easiest. Hugs! But... Filming location ones, those those can be a little rough. There's a lot that goes oh. into that. Well, that's good to know, Hugs. He says, will y'all come back to Alabama to film more big fish locations at Wetumpka? We now have a week dedicated to Tim Burton. I did not well, know that's that. Well, that's cool. I did not know that either. No. Um, at some point, we will. At some point, we will. I Hopefully, always, the, the, the island is still there and I the goats. I don't know if, uh, if Bordello of Blood was filmed here. That one seems like it was probably I think it was Canada. On set. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll still make my way there eventually, I'm sure, but. Um, Just go and ask for the the, the Beaumont Suite. Is it the Beaumont Suite? I can't find it. Or the Beauregard Suite. Can so, I call? Tales from the Crypt, Bordello of Blood. The Beaumont Wake. Beaumont Wake. Or is it the Beauregard Wake? 
I get those confused, and here's why. Oh, I don't know. One of my all-time favorite Scooby-Doo and the uh, Scooby-Doo movies is Scooby-Doo and the Boo Brothers, and uh, they call them the the Beauregard Mansion. Yeah, Beaumont. So that's why I get them confused. Beaumont and Bo- uh, Beauregard. That's so Thirty-two cute. minutes and fifteen seconds. It's so funny seeing what movies freak people out, like Panning Gas and Joycey Gator. Um, I'm not I, sure, Matthew. I was never afraid of any movies growing up. They didn't freak me out except for one. And that was Nightmare on Elm Street. And it wasn't the first one either. I thought it was amazing. It was the third one. Hey, Brittany. Is that the one? The Dream Warriors. Yeah. And the scene that freaked me out the most was the, it was so real looking that I was freaked out. I was really freaked out. And the, I think what freaked me out so much was that he could come in your dreams because that's where I felt the safest. You know, I wasn't afraid of like some random guy coming through my neighborhood because I live in the country anyway. But yeah. Pumpkinhead ruined it for you, Magic? Man. Yeah, Friday the 13th. Uh, Friday, I don't know. For you, it was this one, wasn't it? Texas, Chains- Texas Chainsaw Massacre was one of the very first horror movies i ever seen. That freaked you out. That freaked me out. Yeah. And um, uh, I get freaked out by the weirdest things. I have nightmares about the strangest things. And uh, Good do you do here's here's a bit of tri- here's a bit of movie trivia. Uh, I do have my nose pierced. Yeah, I have a septum. A bit of grim life trivia. I have my ears. When I was growing up, what Disney movie? Oh, I know the gave answer me to this nightmares. One. I know this one. I know There's this a Disney one. movie that scared the crap out of me when I was a kid. I know. What this was one. it? I know. I have very vivid dreams too, but mine are always about the. J. Ram got it, and then there are a couple other people. But yeah, Fantasia. Fantasia terrified me. Oh, that's not the one I was thinking of. Something wicked with this would come. That yeah. one, I love that movie. George Nelson. Hello, oh, George. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you From so Tuxon. much. From Tucson. Hello, Tucson. I don't have night terrors. I don't. I, don't I wouldn't even say that I have nightmares, but I do have extremely vivid dreams, and they're never happy dreams. But I don't have. I don't. My body doesn't react to them like they're nightmares. I just wake up being like, "Damn, that was some shit." <laughs> but I tend to sleep really deep and long because it's hard for me to get out of my dreams. It was hard to wake me up. I don't think so. It's really hard to wake you up. No, it's not. Yeah, I just no, let you go. Sometimes I like walk in. I gotta like peek in on her like three or four times before she wakes up to make sure she's still living. Watch my breathing. Yeah. Make sure I'm still alive. I do that to you at night, like every night. Like if you're too still and you're making no sounds at all, it freaks me out. And I'll do this. I'll. <laughs> you like walk just... in and cough. No, I just, I imagine, like, somebody seeing me from the other side, like, in a movie where I'm just, like, slowly peeking up over the side of your shoulder. Best of luck, <laughs> right? T-Mac. But yeah, I, I, at, in the middle of the night, I often reach out and touch his back to make sure that he's still breathing. So, Mama Fratelli, the Goonies. Yeah. Everybody, okay, when I think of her, the mm-hmm. actress. hmm Automatic, like I automatically don't think of of the Goonies. I think, think of Throw Mama, Mama from, from the, the train. train. Like I don't know if it's becoming. I mean, I'm a big fan of the Goonies, but in my household growing up, okay, <laughs> in my household growing up, three things my mom loved that I remember vividly. The first one being Bruce Springsteen. She was a huge Bruce Springsteen fan. <laughs> the box. She loved Bruce Springsteen. The other one being uh, Throw Mama from the Train. We watch that that movie all the time. And then the other one after that. Born in East L.A. Those three movies, those three things remind me of my mom. Are we, should I say which ones remind me of my mom? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Three things that remind you of your mom. When you think of it. Sum up your mom. Three things. Ah, just three, huh? All right. <laughs> so my mom loves um, musicals. So picking just, I just want to pick one from musicals, but it's really hard because 
I, I probably have my favorites and then she has her own favorites, but I mean, Showboat, Meet Me in St. Louis, Oklahoma, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. It could be any one of those. And I'm not even sure if that would be her favorite one. Um, Gone with the Wind. I hate that one though. I hate that movie so badly, but that's not a musical. Uh, uh, it's technically, um, it's a musical. I don't know. What other movies remind me? I, she recently got into a, a show that was based in London about the nurses during the war. Is that one of the one of your three? This is hard. Man, you, you're not even given one of the three. You're just like I'm just rambling gonna say, on, rambling on and on. Do you know what my favorite musical is? Yes. Ho ho! This is like the what they call it the dating game. Yeah. All right. What is my favorite musical? Wicked. No. Beetlejuice. No. Wait, musical? Musical. What is my favorite Beetle musical? Dead. No. <laughs> have you told me what it is? Yes. Because those are the only ones that you've really talked to so far. You always talk, you talk the most about Wicked. And having seen Beetlejuice, I think, I don't, once. I, we've never seen the Beetlejuice musical. We've talked no. about going to see no, Wicked. No, you having seen it. You I, having seen it. I've not seen the Be Beetlejuice. Okay. No. Well, it's one of those. And Evil Dead, I know, because we still have the the pamphlet. I, I don't know. Tell me then. Brigadoon. I did not know you actually saw that. Brigadoon. In person. No. Like, the movie. Okay, well, this is different. You say musicals. I'm going, okay, a musical you've been to. Oh, now. that I've seen in person? Yeah. If I've seen it in person, my favorite in person would be Wicked. But my favorite musical of I all time is, is Brigadoon. Brigadoon is amazing. Phantom I love the, the story. Yeah, I've been, I, re, I, I grew up in a lot of the old movies. Um, Thank you. Okay. Like, I grew up, I, I remember watching Brigadoon as a kid. I love Brigadoon. Okay, which... Brigadoon, which, and um, I don't think it's really a musical. Which three it's a dance. movies American remind you of me? Three movies that remind me of you? Yeah. This is like, okay. Bram Stoker's Dracula, uh -huh. Legend, uh -huh. and um, anything anime. Okay, any, <laughs> anything animated. I watch a lot of cartoons. Yeah, a animated. Yeah. That's it. That's it. What three? What three movies remind you of me? Me? Yeah. Tramp stamp, please. Misery. Halloween. Tw Thirty-nine twenty-five. Halloween. This is a good one. This is a good one. Halloween definitely reminds me of you. What? Suck it. Uh <clears throat> man, you you're one of those people where like your favorite movie changes all the time. And I I want to say Reanimator. It just reminds me of you. Okay, I can see that. I can see that. And. uh Third one's hard. Probably Evil Dead. Evil Dead. Yeah, it's a good one. It's good. It's good. Oh God, Color Out of Space is I amazing. I wanted to say one of them should have been a comedy because you love comedies. What? I'm I surprised you didn't say The Dark Crystal instead of anything <laughs> animated. But I watch a lot of cartoons. My oh, yeah. favorite movies are cartoons. I should have said The Dark Crystal. You're right. Van Helsing. I love Van Helsing. Oh, I'm really. Oh, that movie looks good. What's when that? Nicholas Cage is coming out, Van Helsing. That looks really good. Yeah. We're looking forward to that. We're looking forward to the new Evil Dead. We're looking forward to the new Scream. We're looking forward to... Oh, there's a couple others that we've been uh, waiting to see that I'm excited for. Uh, the new Haunted Mansion. We finally saw the, the preview for that. I gotta say, um, at first, I thought they were going to drop the ball. When I heard how people were being cast, I was like, oh, no. But now that I've seen the previews, I'm very excited. Jacob's very Ladder, excited. it's a pretty good one. Repo the Genetic Opera? Hell Repo's yeah. awesome. Yeah. I, you, you guys know me. If you've been around for a while, you know that I tend to, to sing in general. I can't help myself. So I love watching a lot of things Disney or that have songs in it. And maybe that's because of my upbringing. I, I, I do love to watch musicals still. I, I sing them all the time, even when I'm not watching them. So yeah, like Disney's and we love going to Disney. I haven't watched the Murdoch Doc on Netflix yet, but I have been following the trial. I, I'm, I guess I should. It's just one of those things where like, I'm want, like I, I see it in the news and I'm like, I really don't care. I was homeschooled. But then, like, 
I have a feeling that like once I start watching it, I'm gonna get into it. It's like the staircase, right? I was like, staircase was good. I was like, I really didn't care, but I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna start watching. We started watching it one day, and we got hooked. Yeah. So I think that's what it is. Like I'm just like, eh, whatever. But then I have a feeling once it's we do. It's weird that there's a show out while the trial is happening, like simultaneously. Yeah. Well, I guess the trial's over now. We haven't seen Cocaine Bear yet. I want, want to see, see Cocaine too. Bear so bad. Yeah. But I don't want to go to the movie theater to see it. I don't. I really don't. I um I want to watch it on our on One our of these home days theater. We'll, we'll be doing see Lisa Marie. Yeah. You see what? We'll, we will make our way to Lisa Marie's grave because he actually has not been to Graceland. I don't want to go to Graceland. Elvis Melvis. Elvis Pelvis. Keep that pelvis away from Can I me. Thank you. Oh, of course I want to go Come to Graceland. On, man. What did you do? With the sound of music. I'm kidding, Steve. I'm a big Elvis fan. Man. I love Dr. Facilier. He's my favorite villain. Do you visit your families often? Yes. In fact, we were going to be visiting both of our families in the next couple weeks, next month. The hills are alive. My family is in Pittsburgh. Eyes. Hers is in St. Louis. I love it. I love it. Thank you, Dustin Fraser. Thank you. The, so I was very, very um, unsure about how people you, would receive the King Kong video because there's not really anything there left to see. And all I really had to go on was production notes. And we almost gave up on it. Like we had everything True, filmed yeah. and I was like, I don't really think people are going to want to watch this. Ah. So I almost scrapped the video, even though it was completely finished. But that's just me kind of like getting in on myself. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Got chills. Oh, my friend just sent me. She's in the chat, and she just sent me a meme of a uh, uh, an Ewok as a as a cocaine bear, and it's great. Love it. That was wonderful. There, Shannon Fitz. There's and actually Xavier, says the silent films awesome. are great, Michael. Well, thank you. I you I actually have. Say, man. We actually have more silent films coming. Hollywood history is great. There's a silent film one that we were planning on doing. What was it? There's a ghost in this house. There's a ghost in this house. There's a ghost. What? What was the silent film? That we were looking into doing? Yeah. I don't remember. Gosh darn it. All right. I got nothing. Thank you, Adrian. And El Paso. So, okay. Every time we pass through El Paso, Texas, every single time we drive through El Paso. Oh, so wonderful to hear that, Nicole. I suffer from a lot of the same stuff. So it's great to hear that we can help you through something. We we, we drive a, an electric car, um, all electric, 100%. And we stop and we charge at a place. And I can't remember the name of the barbecue place, but there's a barbecue restaurant that's like a gas station that has some tesla charging behind it oh we always stop oh. there because of charge and we're always like maybe maybe it is called rudy's it is rudy's it is rudy's it's rudy's yeah. it always smells so dang good and man uh, man we, we gotta be noise 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 fill this in nice. blank on the chain wax <laughs> Thank you, KR me, KR. Oh, goddamn, Melendez. That's my Muppet face. You ever notice that? The chain wax? No. Wait, because in my head, I'm always Muppeting because I love Muppets. So, like, a uh, Muppet face that you would do would be like, because they, they do that. They do that. Yeah. Anyway. Enrique, you got it. Ayo. St. Augustine, Florida. Never heard of it. What's the Florida place? I never heard of that. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. 
That was a Key and Peele reference. Yes. Yes. I could be an anime character. I get I get hyper sometimes. How does that? You know what? I, I that's say, right, I Austin. Used to be really hyper and stuff like that, but. <laughs> He now he's the hyper one and I'm the calm one. I am never hyper. Dude. I get up at six o'clock every morning. I'm in bed by like ten o'clock at night. Sometimes I'm up to ten oh five. Yeah, but you most just of the go, time go, I'm, go. I'm you're I, yeah. always going. going I can't. Going, going, I can't going. stop. I can't. Yeah. I can't. And like it's weird because I'll watch these. Here, here's here's like into my my head right. Uh-huh. So this morning I watched a doc like a, a YouTube. Oh, I call them documentaries, but basically it, it's. <gasps> I want to be a Monster High character. I watched a um, this half an hour special on YouTube this morning about uh, Steve Irwin, like his death. Yeah. And uh, they interviewed people that were close to him. And yeah. they said that he was the type of person that was like constantly in motion. He yeah. never stopped. That's you. And it wasn't like he was hyper all the time. It was just he, he just he was constantly on. Energizer bunny. And I, I feel like that's me. It's like the same kind of kind of person yeah i i used to be i love watching little things like that and I it's not so much about the death like but a, it's more about like the people a go 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 person i'm a homebody for sure but i have moments of like ridiculous hyperness and uh you you've mellowed me out he wears me out now now i'm like the tired one and he's always like come on He's, he has all this energy, and I, I just can't. We have not been to Frankenstein's yet. I really mm-hmm. want to go. We keep planning on it, but we never do. We tried to do Close Encounters of the Third Kind, got stuck on the side of a mountain, and then I slid down in uh, the mud not... and almost fell off the side of a mountain. You are wrong. I almost fell off the side of a cliff. We did not do Close Encounters of the Third Kind. That was not that movie. And it wasn't a movie. It was actually a real real. Place. Is that even close to the title? No. <laughs> 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 it's okay. It's all right. Please. Things kind of blend together. They do <clears throat> blend together. Yeah. Are we coming to Arizona anytime soon? Are we doing the next Midsummer Scream? The one uh, in Long Beach? Possibly. We're still in talks about whether or not we will do it this year in Long Beach. I think we've already done Fright Night 2, Aaron. We have. Yeah. We're, we haven't done Fright Night 2. As a watch party, we've done the filming locations. Oh, we haven't done the watch party. Okay, we should, though. I love that movie. Do you have a collection of haunted items or movie props at home? We are more autograph collectors. We meet a lot of people in our line of work, and we just kind of like fell into like, well, can you sign this picture? Can you sign Which this poster? Is amazing. Um, oh, shoot. We did Area 51. Can you get the, uh, it's over there, the, the big poster container it's against the wall over by the poster tubes the the big binder please oh the binder yeah is it? Oh, okay. i gotta show you this i don't think you i don't think we've shown this to you yet we we got a new poster um oh, gosh. it's heavy right i don't know which way is up and which way it's is all right down. look at this thing this is like our this is this is we have big posters and we have is, s- small posters this side is up What's that's that? up okay Bear with me here. We got something new that I uh, is really awesome, and I want to show you guys. Cause, yeah, bear with me. Mm-hmm. Don of the Dead fans. Ayo. I have this really awesome poster. Ken Forey signed it. Tim right there. And we also got Tom Savini to sign this too. This was at Days of the Dead Las Vegas. Oh, pardon me. So I, I we love it. most of this stuff is not going to go up on our walls. It kind of goes in like our little like portfolio, almost like a photo album. Of just different people that we meet over time. It's it is like a photo album. Mm-hmm. You know, we got certain mm-hmm. things that go up on the wall, but then certain things yeah. just don't see the light of day. It's there for us. So Eventually, we'll see other people. Dawn of the Dead is such an amazing, amazing freaking movie. And at some point, we'll make it to a Living Dead Festival in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. But One of these days. Of the no long sleeves shirts just yet. 
But we are looking into getting like tank tops and stuff like tank that. Tank tops. Yeah. Kinda, yeah. Like our autographs are becoming our adventure book. Instead of having pictures of places we've been, we have autographs. <laughs> It's a lot easier to show. Twin Peaks. Yeah. Kyle McLaughlin. I love that he drew a little cup of coffee. Right. Hi, Australia. You got a lot of stuff. A lot. I'm not surprised, Johnny Vegas. I've seen like some uh, websites that are based in China setting up and they do the same thing. Yeah. Oh, and for our stuff? Our merch. Yeah. There was a, a fan group on Facebook where somebody was posting links to it. And it's, that, it's stuff that we do not make. And it's just uh, a link outside the United States is where it takes you. I don't remember where exactly. Hi, Ireland. Good morning, you guys. Um, it's it's hard to avoid things like that. Every single company has stuff that gets bootlegged of theirs. It's just weird when it's a logo, but it's like <laughs> it's and just damn strange. There's no stopping it. You yeah. know what I mean? We're yeah. we're not like oh damn these people or anything like that. We just I feel like it's been a while since we told this story. We don't have a David Lynch yet. But like back in the day, whenever Grim Life Collective first came to be, uh. We did things like Spreadshirt and things like that, where if you wanted a T-shirt that said Grim Life Collective, you can buy it from this website. It cost you 30 bucks. And once a month, they'll send us like $1.50 for that, uh, yeah. which is okay, which is fine. You know what I mean? But we started getting these messages from all these people that were buying these shirts this way. And they said, I'm so proud that I'm wearing this Grim Life Collective shirt. Thank you for doing this. I'm so happy to support the Grim Life Collective. And then we were like, well, wait a second. Some people were buying it just like buying multiples just so they could put like money into our gas tank. And it was like, oh, it wasn't happening. So we, we felt, felt bad. bad. Huh, Jinx. So yeah. we took that down and all of the merchandise, every single piece of merchandise that is on sale on our website or with us in person is here in our home. We order it all. We pay for it all. We mm. get it all here. We ship it. She ships it out. Ooh, she Carmen prepares all the orders that. and it gets it on. And it all comes from us to you 100%. So that's why. We do not have pets. No pets. No. Thank you, Louisa. Come to Arizona. Unusual Alice. At some point we will again. I've, it's not that hard. No. As of right now, we're so booked up on so many things that most of the time, whenever we drive through Arizona, it's just to kind of get from one end of the state to the next. Uh, but I do think. Well, we have friends there that we keep wanting to visit. Have yeah. Like stores and Terror stuff. Trader. Good yeah. people. Dude, they, they, they keep doing these expansions on their store and getting bigger and bigger. And I just want to go back and visit again. And they're haunted, too. They're always posting on their Instagram um, with their I don't security snore. cameras. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I don't. Not like a person who like snores. It's, it's not like the same all the time. But like if he moves into a certain position, then we all do. Even I do it. Everybody does. I don't snore. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I have one tattoo. It's a little baby thing on my ankle. It's just a, a crescent moon. Boot, yeah, exactly. But if Boot, I had my way, bootlegs do happen. Not much you can do. I'm not concerned about bootlegs. I, want I just, to, um, I just want the people who are watching our channel to be happy. Yeah. And if we can provide some inkling of happiness to your everyday life, we've done our job. Because guess what? We're happy doing what we do. And if it comes across and you guys get to feel that, I need a Disney tag. Awesomeness. You, you should get a Tweety Bird. My sister has one. I know. There's nothing wrong with a Tweety Bird tattoo. As long as you get it, as long as you really love Tweety Bird. I mean, some of the people here might have a Tweety Bird tattoo. Me and my bestie are going to get bunny tattoos. Don't do little it. Little tiny bunny tattoos. You guys should get all. Like those little microscopic. No, things, yeah. this is what you got to do. You and your bestie. Is she, are they here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is what you guys need to do. You need to get a bunny tattoo, but you need to cut it right down the middle and then have like 
one side of the bunny would be normal with one ear and the other and it's all like blood guts and blah, blah, blah. but when you guys get together it's like a normal looking bunny but whenever you are away from each other it just separates that's what you should do bloody bunnies <gasps> you can I be don't the, know about bloody bunnies the bloody bunny club i have another <clears throat> friend who does artwork and it's almost always bunnies and it's just artwork that we both love so we're going to get our own versions of her little ghost bunny done We keep meaning to. One of these days. I have, to, I have to have it drawn up and stuff. I love the idea of like tattoos that like when you put your hands together or whatever, like it forms a complete thing. Yeah, those are, those are cute. Get a baby ghoul. I don't even know what a baby ghoul is though. A baby ghoul is me. I can't get a tattoo of myself. It's just weird. I'm sorry. It keeps easing up. I have chicken shit Just on my hands. What? You're right. I got chicken shit on my hands. <laughs> thank you, Anthony. That's very sweet. Well, yeah, thank you, Anthony. I don't know what the Monday black Bible ghost Monday is. Yeah, exactly. Never heard of it. I'm sorry. So I don't know. I can't. I don't know I'm going to say I don't like either. it. I don't know if I like it. Mm, I don't know what it is. Grim Life Collective Temporary Tattoos. What? I don't know. That sounds weird. We're 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 gonna get ah. we're, we're gonna get like tattoos like like uh temporary tattoos that yeah, but say. Steve-O is really out there, man. Who's I ain't that? No Steve-O. Steve-O got a tattoo of himself. I I ain't no Steve-O, man. No. No, thank you. No, thank you. I I want to. I just want Franco. Feminine. Avila. Avilia. Like feminine. What are you guys' spirit animal? What would my spirit animal be? Well, I know what your favorite animal is. That would be my spirit animal. Then it's a meerkat. Yahoo! Meerkats. I love meerkats. What is my spirit animal? Your spirit animal is anything fluffy. But I would say um, a red panda. Oh, red panda. You're so stupid. <laughs> That's what I live no. with every single day. They're smarter than regular pandas, though. They're just easily scared. And they're adorable. But if it's fluffy... <laughs> she loves the fluff. I'll check out Black Blackwell Ghost. I, at some I love point. so many animals that I honestly don't think that I could pick one to be my representative. If I had to pick an animal to represent me, probably it would be a bat. I mean, a my bat. favorite animals are bats and spiders. And so it would probably be a bat. Somebody said this is a turtle. Turtle? Best Mexican dish, Melissa says. I don't know if I could. I, mm, turtle soup? Mm, I don't know if I could do it. I don't mean, uh. know. Best Mexican dish. I do want to get a pumpkin tattoo. I have some artists picked out that I want to go through, though. But, of course, all the people mm -hmm. I love are, like, eternally busy and, like, hard to get in with. So, I'm going to sound like a dork right now, but best Mexican dish. I'm going to say I'm sorry. I don't really know any Mexican dish names except for, hey, we're going to have a taco night or whatever. But we do have some really awesome friends. There's no here. The, the Caldies. We love carne asada. Who um, have, have made some amazing, amazing food that we've got to enjoy with them and their family. And uh, carnitas? I think that's what it is. It's delicious. Carnitas? Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm hungry. Gosh dang it. Every time we go to Austin, Texas, I stop at a place called Guerrero's. And, and I, I love that she just got beat up by a broom. Like, if this is the house of horrors, I'm totally getting out of this house. I, I think I'm going to be okay. If it was this version of these people doing the thing. Carne doing, asada tacos. There we go. Nom, 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 nom. Have you both had El Coyote? We love El Coyote. Yes. Truly God, mood. it's good. It so Y'all like Menudo? You talking like the band? The band is awesome. One of our favorite bands. In fact, I'm too ashamed to say this on camera or to wear it on camera, but I have like Menudo, like 
um, tour t-shirts. I'm like, I'm just kidding. I do not. But menudo is fun. Menudo is fun. We try to cook at home, but we're rarely home. So when we buy fresh food, it tends to go bad. Because we forget it's there. Man. Okay. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Mm, but anytime that we Dorta. buy fresh vegetables or fruit, it's we'll buy it in the store. And it, I swear, by the time we get home, it's bad. Sometimes. And and it, it, it's starting to really piss us off that every time we go out to get mm, something to eat, to like buy that. some groceries, it's bad within the first 24 hours. And it never used to be like that. No, now everywhere we go. Really so really fast, um, yeah. our, some friends of ours said, well, they don't even go to the grocery store to stock up. Th- they'll go to the, the grocery of. store the day of to buy mm-hmm. fresh groceries. But it's not just around us. It's kind of everywhere a little bit, but... Um... Someone, I don't, I didn't catch what someone was saying. They were talking about Danny Elfman stuff, and of course, that reminded me that we actually got to see him live a couple months ago when he did the Danny Elfman. Um, I don't remember what it was called it was for Halloween. Yeah, it was uh, Sarah the Davies collective works of Thank Danny you, Elfman, and we were able to get the box seats up at the Hollywood Bowl. And we were to talk about this the other day, and I think it's so far one of the greatest experiences we've we've ever gotten to do. Yeah. I wish we could have filmed it. On the website and everything, it said no cameras. And then we get there, and everyone's got their little own point and shoot. And we're like, man. Because, look, if they send you home, or they tell you to go put it in your car, you're not going to see the fucking show. Because you have to park so far away. And then the lines are so massive, there, there would be no putting anything back in the car. You know, if we try to take a small point and shoot. And then I, we saw all these people with it. And we were so upset. Did Danny play any Forbidden Zone music? No, he did not. The only one he didn't do. And I was really surprised he didn't. But what do you think about the new Scream movie coming out? I didn't even know that there was one. What are they up to now? Scream 5? Oh, I'm kidding. I'm so kidding. I'm sorry. We're stupidly excited Thank for Scream idea. 6. 100% excited yeah. for Scream 6. We're we're a very big fan of Jenna Ortega. Yeah. I just she's so tiny and so cute. You just want to squish her. Cute, cute. Squish. She's an amazing actress though. I mean, just every time we see a movie that she's done, it's always so very different and she knocks it out of the park. She's she's a really well-rounded actress and I'm just she's one of those people you you're excited to see what she does next, and I'm really glad that she's a part of this franchise. Like, I, okay, the whole Sydney Nev Campbell, um, it's not being in Scream Six, <laughs> Mr. Mom. Like, uh-huh. I get it. I 100% get why, and I support her for her decision. Thank you, Big G. 100% support her for her decision. Um, Hello, New Zealand. I'm. Hi, New Zealand. I'm actually kind of glad that she's not in it in a way. Uh, a little same. Because it's like it, it's it's so it's it's out. new blood, uh, new city, new rules, New mm-hmm. York kind of thing. Like it, they it's will just die 100%. It, it's 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 fresh. Yeah. What's that? They think Gail's gonna die, and I think I agree with it. Maybe she's the new one. Maybe she saw all of her friends die, mm-hmm. and she's the one that loses Hi, it, and, and Gail is the the killer, and. Uh, they, they kill Gale. So instead of Ghostface cool, killing me. Gale, they have to kill Gale because she lost her god dang mind. Say it now. That's what it is. I ain't saying anything else. That makes no sense because Gale is in it. Come on. The first movie. All the movies. Like the... the the, the killers are there. The killers are always there. That's the part. Of, that's the part of the fun. The killer could be anybody. We got the uh, the popcorn bucket. Yes, pop. it's so small. It is tiny. It's tiny. It's so tiny. Thank you, Jay. It, the only popcorn it's going to hold is the popcorn kernels before it pops. It's really small. Thank you, Jay. It's so tiny. They're, they're doing these pre-orders online, which is great. Thank Love you, Christina. Love you, Christina. Happy too. Bo chickens. And now they're bringing back the cups for pre-orders. Yes. And, dude, it, I'll show you. I have it right here. It is so small. We do have a scream mask. In fact, we have, several. We have a replica of, of uh, we, we have a scream robe 
that is made from the Scream oh, blueprints, the same material and everything oh, so that you guys cool. have never seen. Oh, it says head that you open up. Right? Look at that. Like, it's just, it's very tiny. I, I don't, it, it would hold a small bag of popcorn, not Corey, a that's small amazing. bucket of popcorn. It was, it's just not, it's more for looks, it's not for function. Thank you, Corey. What, what if the whole thing with Sydney oh, is, 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 is a marketing thing? Her what if the she's the killer? Dog. Yeah. We did see Megan. A little disappointed in Megan. A little disappointed. I didn't honest. like Megan. I was bored for the whole thing. I, I thought it was lit. I didn't care for it at all. I, I tend to I tend to not like movies for the stupidest reasons. I get very petty when it comes to movies. I mean, it's not often that we actually dislike a movie. I dislike this movie, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Whatever. It's not really a massacre. What, five friends? Come on, Texas Party of Five Massacre. Where's Claire Danes? Haven't seen Infinity Pool yet. We've heard good things about it, but haven't seen it yet. Yeah, we, I didn't think Macon was very good at all. And especially the way that they did all the previews and all the um, the uh, special events and whatnot with the, the dancing and the, the actresses doing the doll and all that. It, it, it just ruined it, I think, if I'm being honest. <clears throat> the new Evil Dad looks so good, though. Evil Dead, Schmeevil Dead. Try Kindergarten Dead. Pfft, looks silly. <laughs> It looks fun. I need at least 40 bodies in Claire Danes. And Claire Danes. Whatever happened to Claire Danes? She's still working. Is she still she working? She's been on a show, yeah. What is she, like Like doing Lifetime movies or something? No, she's doing... She's on a series. What series? I don't fucking know. Something hey, Lifetime series. And... No, she's actively working. She's just not been in anything that you've seen. We have not seen The Whale yet. One of these days, Amanda will show you our Scream collection. Homeland. Is she on Homeland? Is that what that is? Is that what is somebody was saying? It's on Homeland. Sounds like it. Yeah. I don't know. It's like a who's a spy in the government kind of a show. She was in like a movie where like she was a prisoner or some crap like that, where she was like whatever, and then she cried. But she was like in like she she's one of those people that whenever Claire Danes cries on camera, it's like very messy. Where it's like it's like her face melts, but it doesn't really. It's like boogers and like snot bubbles. Like whenever you think Claire Danes crying, it's like the Titanic sinking. We That's, did know that there's a a Megan too. We don't really care. <laughs> we didn't like the first one. We don't care. Well. Um, I, I, I would, got no faith for I, it. I would have liked... Yeah. The, see, the reason why I didn't like Megan is I was like... I thought that the whole dance sequence was really... It, I don't know. Disappointing. Disappointing. I, it, the, tra the trailer for the dance sequence was cooler than the actual dance sequence. Yeah. Like I was like, okay, well, that happened real quick. Broke Down Palace. That's the one where she was in jail. Yeah, like, yeah, Titanic. Booger nose. <laughs> I don't know. Please don't tell Claire Days I called her booger nose. Ugh. Knock at the cabin was pretty decent. Knock at the cabin, man. I, I broke down palace. It, it was not Good how call. I thought it was going to be, but it was it was great acting. Jesus Christ was that. It better win some awards. Yeah, like a Blair Witch Project cry. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. Midnight Express. I'm not sure if I've seen that Midnight Express. Yeah, I don't know that one. Mm. Uh, Joshua cool, says, oh, you read it too. <laughs> Claire Danes. Again, oh. I think Claire Danes did the booger cry. So my favorite <laughs> movie, movie of Claire too. Danes is, uh, I keep wanting to say it's called Enchanted and it's not. Um, oh, no, I'm never going to remember it. It's a uh, Neil Gaiman book. Stardust. Stardust. Stardust is my favorite film of hers. I just love that movie. She has not be in it, so good for her. Right? I just looked up Claire <laughs> crying. Good. She's she's a booger booger oh crier. My God. These conversations get wild. Jeez. <laughs> so all right. All right. 
<laughs> never mind. I was gonna say let's like pull it up on like Twitter. Like no, never mind. Just forget it. Everybody <sighs> ugly cries if it's real. Oh my god. But no, she, Claire Danes is like a hundred percent like a booger crier. I'll have to take your word for it. I, I didn't hate the new Texas Chainsaw. It was okay. It had some fun moments, but it had a lot of stupid moments. Thank you, Corey. Thank you, Corey. Thank you. I I thought it was just kind of the witches is my jam. I we're actually we're gonna do the filming locations for the witches when we go to England, and I'm going to uh, essentially cosplay as a Grand High Witch. Cosplay my butt! You're gonna take off your face, you witch! I can't take off my face! <laughs> take off your gloves! Take off! Oh, I need to get gloves. I got Melvin, off. thank you. Okay. You gotta do a true crime video on truck stop killers like Robert Ben Rhodes. Thank you, Melvin. Thank you, Melvin. Truck, tr truck stop killers. We, I think we we probably will be doing The Conjuring 2. Oh, will we now? Oh, spooky, spooky, ghosty, ghosty. I would think so. I think so, yeah. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah. Possibly. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to... I'm gonna say something here and you guys could possibly hate me. Oh, I love Bluey. It is great. Um, I've gotten it a lot. Mila <clears throat> Jovovich with green hair. Yeah, I've gotten that a lot. Um, I always thought in, in my like of movies, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, everyone raves about this. This is usually a lot of people's favorite movie and I always thought it was kind of eh. What? There it is. I said it. I said what I said. Seven, Seven Rivers! Gotta hit the hay and a few, but I just wanted to say that your Ted Bundy crime scene location video was so gentle and respectful. Probably doesn't get any better. Well, thank you. Thank you Seven very Rivers. much, Seven Rivers, and thank have a good night, sweetheart. So, but the reason that I think that this didn't make as we did an do an ET filming location video, Dan, is maybe by the time I saw it, I was a lot older, so I probably didn't come across it until like. 1990 i was born in 82 so i was like a little older i don't know but but that's how i've always felt in 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 horror movies growing up is they didn't shock me or scare me or anything like that so this movie for me watching it growing up i kind of you, you know i get antsy i start getting bored because it's more slow moving than it seems but if you take era that was done in the year it was done in, and what they did and, and got away with and, and and all that yeah it's a great movie but it's just not one of those movies that made me go i love this movie and i'm sorry you guys are going to hate me even further but i feel the same way about friday the 13th halloween is my jam michael myers is my my, my slasher the other ones just kind of don't compare for me Michael's my guy. Get it? Because your name is Michael. Oh, yeah, I get it. Sorry, slow to the punch. I'm just kidding. <gasps> Candyman, you know what? I did get, I did work myself up a little bit one time when I was watching Candyman. Not when I was younger, but as I was older, I was, it was October. I was home alone drinking. Uh, well, not like, you know, whatever. I was just like sipping on some spiced rum that someone uh, gave me to try. Um, oh, and I, I was watching crazy. Candyman and I, I psyched myself out. Like I, I started locking all the doors and turning on all the lights and, you know, and that kind of a thing. I just realized if my hair was like longer, who I'd look like? Who? Mother Gothel. Damn it. So, Corey, real quick. It's about putting yourself in the situation. Yeah, yeah, I know. Thank you, Corey. Thank you, dear. The and only I, reason I, why I I'm saying this is because it's a lot easier for you to get out. Can you please go get the Hellraiser stuff from Vegas over there so we can show? The Hellraiser stuff from The Vegas. two pieces, not pictures. Oh. <clears throat> if you're, are you, who here is a fan of Hellraiser? Persist, specifically Hellraiser part one and part 
three. You know what one fucked me up? Is so, Event Horizon and Hellraiser. So, configuration like box. Oh, you didn't have to bring that. Well, uh, it has a little stand that you can put on the So, we got Doug Bradley and the other Cenobites to sign it. You really can't see it because it's a little, it's a little rough on this. Um, including Andrew Robinson, who wasn't a Cenobite. He was the dad from the first Hellraiser. Ooh. Halloween ends but, could have been better. And then... Could have been better. Check this out. Does anybody know what this is? Hellraiser people. Extra points if you do. What is the name of this that I am holding? It turns just like so. It is from part three. Mm -hmm. Don't summon. That's right. Ah! The Pillar of Souls. So 96 49er. Got Doug Bradley to sign the top of the Pillar of Souls. And uh, two of the people, the Cenobites from Hellraiser 3, that were there at Vegas. So we got them to sign that. We, too. we got this new uh, chrome pen. So when you write, it looks like someone wrote with a mirror. The Seno flashlight. That's a good one, big crack rock. Uh, uh, but it is not. Flashlight. I said flashlight, flashlight. We oh. haven't seen the remake yet. I ain't yet. pressing the cube. Heard really good things about it, but we haven't seen it yet. We kind of keep forgetting about Should that. We still it. haven't seen uh, the Sandman series yet. I don't want to like press I it. Know. I know. We haven't been there. back to his house in a long time to see the Pillar of Souls one. But uh, we, we heard... For what? That Sean has the yeah. screen used Pillar of Souls. I want to see the remake. I've heard good things. Love Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Uh, it got a little kooky. It got a little very teenage drama-ish weird towards the end. But all oh, on this, it was a lot of good fun. It was, it was a good show, though. Love the actors and actresses that are in it. We actually just watched Fate the Wink Saga because one of the weird sisters was the lead, the redhead, in that one. And that was, that was, Thank that you, was a Harvest show. Film. It was cute. I know, we keep meaning to watch it. Wolf Creek is messed up. Yeah, huh. oh, ready for the new John Wick. Yeah, I forgot there's a new one. There are, it's, it's neat because living here, okay, so every town, the town that you live in, right, every city has billboards, right? Billboards are like, you're in a car accident? Call this person. You need an attorney? Divorce? That's okay. Call this sure. lawyer. Or, you know, heating and air conditioning? Call us. You want to go to school? Call us. That kind of thing. Los Angeles, more specifically where we live in Hollywood, there are billboards sometimes the size of buildings that are movie posters, which is funny, which always cracks me up, right? Uh -huh. Because the town that makes the movies have the most advertisement for the movies, and sometimes the billboards, the posters are the size of buildings for the movies. You would, wouldn't you think that you would want this Can advertisement in other cities, right? But no, it's all here. That makes sense. I have wondered that um, Curry says that they don't have billboards like that in Scotland. Oh. Um, I'm, I'm guessing they don't have a lot of those probably in England either because you never see them in pictures and whatnot, except for in the city center in London. You see someone buildings, but otherwise I don't think you see billboards. I think that's just an American thing. I think that's just one thing that we don't realize is very American. No billboards Man, in Netherlands. Super American, yeah. Handbills. Midnight Meat Train's a good one. That's a good one. It's been a while since we've done a video showing off the street art in LA. We did it like once about a year and a half ago. I've been wanting to get back out there and showcase some of the art, the street art, the graffiti. Like hey, some Midnight of it's Man. really freaking cool. And then also the giant signs. So maybe when we get back, you might get another one of those. 
now I sound like a 60s or 70s like experimentation film whenever there's like a chase scene oh god when are you coming to england we, we we talked about this it's gonna be this fall but we haven't made it in the official we haven't made the official announcement yet which means plane tickets haven't been bought but we are looking for october 13th is whenever we're gonna fly out uh, killer bong Our but did that movie. as for appearances those have not been made public yet we did not watch any sports. Sports, schmorts, no. smorgasbord. No, we're just not. We're not really into sports. Sorry. Anyone can walk into Hollywood forever. Yeah, yes. you don't need permission for that one. But there are a handful of um, cemeteries around here that you you can just go to, but you're not allowed to film. We're playing <laughs> with the idea of coming up into Scotland when we come to visit. Gooley, Gooley. Recent um, viewer, love all your videos. Much love. If I can ever let you, if I can ever join you, let me know. Good night. Good night. Good night, Thank sweetheart. You. Of course. Thank you so much. Of um, course. We, so we're used to driving long distances to get from point A to point B here in America. And we know that England is rather small. So we're, we think we might have a lot more time on our hands than we anticipate. So if we do, we would love to come up and visit Scotland. Um but it's not anything that we can confirm right now. Uh, honestly, it's going to be something we decide while we're there, whether we do or not. But we would love to come back and do Scotland just by itself as a visit. So we're still debating whether we should and just leave it for it's a whole trip by itself. So that's something else we're considering. I would love to go to the Netherlands. Um, my father's family is from Norway. I know it's not the same country, but it's... Um, for the longest time, they thought it was it was either Netherlands or Norway. They couldn't couldn't remember which one it was because Ooh, I don't know pizza. why. Or somebody couldn't remember it. One of my family members couldn't remember whether it was Norway or uh, Netherlands. But I would love to visit. Oh, I want to go everywhere, man. I want to visit everywhere. I really do. Yeah. Yeah. With that being said. We're coming to Canada. It is that time of the night. The movie is over. Hopefully you guys had fun. More than likely you have seen that movie or you heard of the movie and you either chose to watch it or you chose not to watch it because you either like it or you don't like it. It's completely up to you. You're here for a watch party, mainly to hang out. One last comment before we leave. Now, mm -hmm. um, my father's family who is from there, but he was adopted. So his bloodline is from there, not the family that we all grew up with. That's why it was kind of confusing. Go ahead, sorry. With that being said, I'm sorry, I was reading about that. Again, <laughs> Samantha McDowell, um, on the website, there is a note that says that we are traveling. I'm so sorry. I had to update it because it did say that we were going to open it again in the beginning of February. Um, we do not have the store open ever whenever we are on the road. We've been traveling a lot. I'm so sorry. So the only way to get something is to see us in person at a show at or a convention yeah. or anything like that across the country for, um, now. for now when we do get back home it will be back open probably for another month we're getting back at the end of april and with that being said thank you for joining us for another we love you adventure. guys we love we you guys. Love you, guys. Thank you so much for, for hanging out with us and chatting with us and keeping us company. We, we are, always enjoy it. We are going to be on the road for the next month and a half. If we can do lives, we will. We're going to try. But can't promise anything. So just bear with us. No. Follow us on social media, and that's how you'll know whenever our live is at coming. at the mercy of the Wi-Fi at the hotel. That and being tired. Yeah, that too. Really tired yeah. from, try, from driving all yeah. over God's creation. Uh, have a good night. Happy Halloween.